Hi, we're Patrick. Welcome to my channel. And today we are going to discuss about three important steps that you need to do as soon as you land in Germany. It's very cold here. It's around one degree. So let's get started. So the first step that you need to do as soon as you land in Germany is buy a prepaid SIM card. Yes, you need an internet connection if you need to travel all across Germany or if you do not know German language and you need to use Google Translator. So please make sure when you travel from your home country, you buy an international roaming for at least one week so that in case if you're not able to buy a prepaid card at least you have internet on your phone that is very important and you will not get a postpaid connection immediately because you do not have city registration so what you can do is you can buy a prepaid card go to any kiosk and just take a prepaid card for 10 or 15 euros that has a validity of 28 days where you do not need to show your address verification or anything and then you can use that prepaid card for your internet connection so the first step as soon as you land in germany is buy a prepaid sim card now what is the second important step that you need to do as soon as you come to germany so you must have an accommodation and now you have to do city registration which is called as N Malta. Yes, city registration is very important because all of the steps that you need to do they are related to the city registration. So uh, wherever you go in whichever city, every city has a different process to do the city registration. Just go to Google and say city registration for Frankfurt or whichever city you are in and then you will get a, a official website and a process and you need to follow that. Now every time you move your apartment or you change your address you have to do city registration that is a most important step here in Germany and the rule says that the city registration has to be done within 14 days of your uh, of your move uh, to the new address and then uh, once the city registration is done we move on to the third step now the third step is very important again which is opening a bank account now to open a bank account you need city registration so uh, you can go to any bank say Deutsche Bank or Commerce Bank or any bank which is a well-known bank and then open a bank account even if you come on a job seeker visa I would say please open a bank account because as soon as you get job you will need this bank account so or if you're here even on an employment visa you would need a bank account so go to the third step and open a bank account take your city registration form to open a bank account and your passport now after you have done these three steps then we go to the fourth step which is buying a health insurance now i would say if you're on a job seeker visa do not buy health insurance yet you already have a health and travel insurance for your which you use for your visa application you can wait until you get a job and then buy a health insurance once you get a job However, if you are here on an employment visa, then it's very important for you to open a health, uh, buy a health insurance, which could be public insurance or private insurance. And then you need to submit this document to your employer. But you can only open a health insurance once you have a bank account and once you have a city registration. So again, all these steps are interrelated to each other. So make sure you follow them one by one. So these are the four important steps that you need to follow as soon as you land in Germany. To summarize, first you need to buy a prepaid SIM card, then you need to do city registration, then you need to open a bank account and fourth step you need to go towards the health insurance. Now in case you, you need to know more information about Germany, please subscribe to my channel. I am also going to share a lot of information on how do you find a job in Germany, what are the top websites that you can use to find a job in Germany. In case you need to know how to find an accommodation in easy steps and sooner, then I am going to create a detailed video about that. I found an accommodation in Germany in 10 days. I know it's very difficult but I managed to do that. So I am going to share you my secrets of how did I get an accommodation in Germany in just 10 days. I work in Germany as a lead HR and I've started this channel to help you find a job in Germany and settle sooner and faster. So I hope uh, my videos are helpful and in case if they are, please subscribe to my channel so that I keep getting motivated to create such videos. Thank you so much and I see you soon. Bye.